Hi everyone, blessed be. I'm going to show you today how to make a protection candle. So first of all, you need some sort of wax. I use these soy wax pellets. You'll need some black salt, some rosemary and a bay leaf. And also some little black um, dye flakes for the candle to turn it black. Um, and I find the flakes do work perfectly fine with soy wax. Some people say they don't, but it does. Now I've got a pan of hot water and I'm just going to sit my little metal jug in there. Um, don't leave it on the heat or anything because you don't want to burn the wax. You just want the water hot and then just stick the jug in. It can be glass or metal depending on what you're using. Um, I've used a Pyrex jug before now to make larger candles. Make sure the container you're going to put it in has already had some hot water run through it so it's nice and warm so you don't shatter the glass. And this is an old candle um anyway that i've just reused the jar from so once my wax mixture has melted i put a little bit in the bottom just to make sure the wick base stays in place these are wicks that have already got the little um holder on the bottom i just ordered these off um online and they are um soy ones for soy wax because i use soy wax i don't use paraffin wax in my candles and as you can see, with the, with the flakes, it's made it a really nice dark black colour. Because obviously black colour color correspondence for protection. And what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a little minute or two just to start to set. And this is just going to help to hold my wick base in place. Um, and I've also gone to just grab a bigger peg. I tend to use my pegs to hold the... Um, the wick in position because you want the wick to go centrally through the candle you don't want it to be off to the side because it can shatter the glass container so you want the wick to be thick enough for the size of container you can google how to work that out um, and you also want it so it's in the center of the jar um, that way you're not going to shatter the glass container when your wick is burning you want it in the middle so now I've positioned my wick in place. I'm going to let that set for a little bit and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of my black salt mixture in the bottom. It has got glitter in it because I felt it needed glitter. I don't know why, but this black salt has glitter in. And the black salt is made out of sea salt, um, a little bit of charcoal and um, incense ash. And then I've also added um, a little bit of my crushed bay leaves and I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary. I kind of like to do my um, candles in layers. Now it is going to, like as I put the next layer in, a lot of this is going to float up anyway. Um, but that doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's through the candle somewhere, it will be fine. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of my melted wax. Obviously, be very careful when you do this. This is obviously adults only, um, not for children, because obviously the wax is very hot. So I've added a little bit more wax, and I'm going to add a little bit more of my black salt mixture. And I'm going to add a little bit more of rose, the rosemary and bay, crushed bay leaf. If this floats to the top, it doesn't matter. And just might try and make sure you keep that wick in the center so i'm just sprinkling my ingredients in and while i'm doing that i'm thinking about the purpose of this candle which is for protection you want to have in mind the intention of the candle the whole time you're making it and also, I find it best to make this on a day where you feel nice and calm and relaxed and quite happy. And if you're wondering why I'm making my own candle instead of buying one, I always prefer to make my own. I mean, you get a big, bags, big bag of the uh, soy candle pellets for under £20 and that'll make loads of candles. I can make about full-size pillar candles I can make about three or four out of it but obviously candles this size I can make loads I could probably make about 20 this size 
at least and then still have loads left. I've used hardly any of the um, bag of soy pellets. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit more of the wax each time. Um, I'm having to add little bits of wax to my little metal jug to melt it, melt it a bit more to make sure I've got enough. Um, I probably could have done with filling my little metal jug but I find it melts quicker um, if I do it in little batches. But I don't mind, I'm quite happy just to sit there doing little batches and just waiting patiently. The back of the um, black salt jars got this like Halloween label on because I bought the, these little jars. It was around Halloween time from um, my local hobby craft. Um, you can find loads of little jars and things like this. You could keep the Halloween label on if you want, but this label wouldn't come off. Um, and I, I do put my own labels on, but it's fine because that's on the back. Um, but little jars like this are very useful. You can use them to make little protection jars and all sorts, or just to store your ingredients in miniature size. Especially if, like me, you haven't got a lot of room, you can have um, a few of these in like a little... I've got like a little uh, frame thing, a box frame on the wall, that keeps the little jars of the ingredients in. So you can have, you know, you don't need loads of stuff. Oh, um, also you don't have to buy stuff, as you can see. I mean, I'm recycling a glass jar from another candle. Um, I've, the only thing I've bought is the wax, the rosemary and stuff I'd already got in the house. Um, you don't have to buy loads of things for your practice. So here I'm just melting a little bit more of the wax excuse the weird lighting by the way the lighting in my kitchen is hopeless so what i've done is i've got my little pentacle uh symbol which i've just stuck on with a little glue dot on the outside i've filled up my candle as far as i want i don't like to fill it right to the brim i like to leave a little gap at the top i've got a little clear quartz crystal which i'm going to put into the top and Clear quartz crystals um, like magnify the effects of any other crystals and workings. So clear quartz is quite a good one to use in anything and it's like a universal crystal that will work with anything as well, like any um, ritual or anything you're going to do. And I've sprinkled some more of the rosemary on top and the crushed bay leaves and I've also added a little bit of lavender freshly picked from my garden. Um, I've normally got dried lavender knocking about, but I don't know what I've done with it. So I've just used a little bit of lavender from the garden in the top. And then once the wax has solidified enough to support the weight of the little crystal, I'm going to put that in the top, but I can't put that on yet. So here, what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up any mess that I've made. And I noticed I've got some, something on the toaster, so I'm getting that off. Um, yeah, don't buy a white toaster, it just shows any marks. I'm going to replace it with a black one at some point. Um, but yeah, anything white in your kitchen will just show up the tiniest of marks and look filthy. So yeah, always buy dark. Um, so I'm just waiting now for this candle to set to a point where I can put the crystal on top and it won't sink to the bottom. Um, so I'm going to let this carry on setting and cooling. And then I'll come back and show you what to do next once it's all set, cooled and ready to how to prepare it for use. And once the candle has almost set, you can put the little crystal in and just press it into the soft wax. And you need to trim the wick so it's about a centimetre long. And... As you can see, there are some of the herbs on top that floated up, like some of the rosemary and there's some of the Himalayan salt on top, as well as obviously some of the glitter and the black salt. And that's it. That's how to make a protection candle and that's ready to be used whenever you want to use it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Blessed be. Make sure you burn it on a fire retardant surface, by the way. Thank you for watching and bye for now.